Hi, welcome to Fit for a Feast. My name is Sloan. And my name is Katrina. And we are back for part two of this Sloan's costume video in her playroom. Oh, I love this dance. <laughs> um, this was my very first open solo, and it was called Machine. And this costume was kind of crazy because it had real bolts on it. And since I was like a robot machine thing, I had this huge cord thing that um, I brought, I dragged onto stage with me. And yeah, it was pretty intense. This is on YouTube, and there's also a picture on Instagram. <laughs> Fit for a feast. Someone already took uh, our name, Fit for a Feast, for Instagram. Now we had to do it, Fit the number four, a feast. Yeah, we put up new photos regularly. Be sure to also check out our Facebook, facebook.com slash fit for a feast. And also check out our Twitter, twitter.com slash fit for a feast. So this one was used for one of my small jazz groups, and it was called That's Not My Name. And I remember this jacket being very itchy. I remember this dance. This was used for an open small group called Black Flowers. This is a very plain costume because it was dealing with death. So this was used for my acro number called Stand Still Look Pretty. And we had this little beret hat. We were minds in this. So this one was my jazz trio called Swing With Me. And it was kind of confusing to put on, but it was fun. This is one of my favorite dances. Yeah, I really like this one. Um, this was one of my hip hop numbers called Freak Show. And so we were like freaks in it. And we had this mask. It was really fun. I like this number. I don't know how you breathe in this thing. <laughs> I don't really know either. This one was a small open number called Ruby Shoes. And so it was like the Wizard of Oz. We were all the witches. And then there was one girl who was um, Dorothy. And she had Ruby Shoes. This one's my favorite too. It was so cool. I really liked all of our hip hop numbers. They were so creative and like different. This one was called Lady Gaga. And so yeah, I got my little wig here. And then the whole neck. Okay. Then the top, the bottoms. There were three different colors for each three different songs that we did in the dance, and um, there was white, red, and black. I remember this ballet. The costumes were so pretty. This number was called Scheherazade. Really cool dance, because it was really different than our other ballet dances, especially since we didn't have a skirt, we actually had pants. Was definitely one of my favorites. I love this dance so much. It was a hip hop routine called Prom Night. And so the the story of it was we all had partners. So in my case I was the guy and then my partner was the girl and we were the guys were vampires who at one point in the beginning we pretended to bite the girls and they would turn into vampires too. <laughs> was my first and only ballet solo. I was seven when I did this routine. 
This is my second top solo, and it was called When I Sing. You can check this video on YouTube as well. I was 10 when I did this number. This costume is so little. Yeah, this is my first routine ever. It was recreational, and it was called I'm On My Way. It was a top number. I was only four when I did this. So this one was a jazz dance called Too Hot. And it was fun. So this one was a tap routine called Work In It. It was really fun and it did pretty well in competitions. It was two Michael Jackson song. Cute. For this solo, it was it was jazz, and it was called Beyond the Sea. Like birds on high, as straight to his eye. I was nine when I did this dance. So long, Amy. This one was a jazz number called Turn Me Loose. This was my last open solo, so my last year of competitive, and it was called The Kiss of Death. This is on YouTube. This looks a lot like my Ritz costume. Funny you should say that because that's what the name of the dance is called. And um, for this one, ours was a line, so it was a big group, other than Katrina's, whose was smaller. You must have been really young with this one. Yeah, this one was, uh, I was in recreational dancing. I was five years old, and it was a jazz number called Hot, Hot, Hot. This acro number was called Upside Down. We were clowns. And we had to wear a big red nose, which Katrina's wearing right now. I don't remember this dance. Yeah, this is my first ballet dance called Baby Beethoven. So I was six when I did this. So here's another ballet dance called Asian-esque. And in this dance, we use a tutu. Don't wind over like that. And um, we also had a headpiece. Our ballet teacher also um, made every single headpiece, so we did this. Our ballet teacher would pin this to our head. This one looks a lot like my Yankee Doodle. Yep, when I was younger, we did a jazz small group to this Yankee Doodle. And I was nine years old when I did this. It's a really fun dance. This was used for one of my jazz trios, and it was called Steam and Hot. They told me to shout them all, call in the border. They told me to shout them all, call in the border. Don't do no good. This one was a lyrical number, and it was called Fix You. I really like this one. Yeah, that one was really cool. I used this dance, um, it was in my last year of competitive dancing.
So I hope you liked all of my dance costumes. So let us know what other videos you want us to do. A lot of people are telling us to do what's in your dance bag video, so we may be doing that. See you later on Fit for Feast. Bye.